What's up YouTube? Today we are gonna review the Glovebox extension that I previously installed on my 2020 Ski-Doo Expedition Extreme. I've been getting a lot of comments and questions lately, so I figured I'd answer those during this review. The first thing that I got called out about on my install video was how I didn't mention how to use these or what these are. All this is is a foam insert that you cut out to the shape of your phone and it helps center your phone while you're riding. I have an iPhone 11 Pro Max and I haven't found a use for them yet and that's why I didn't install them or I didn't show that on the install video. If you have a smaller phone, these might come in handy. The most common question I get is how do I install the phone in the phone mount? So I'll demonstrate that here. You open the glove box, you open the cell phone compartment, and then you place your phone in and you close the glove box. There it is. There is a protective coating on here, so it protects it, your phone from the elements. It is also able to uh, recognize my finger, so you can move your map wherever you need. Another common question I get is, can I charge the phone while it's in the phone mount? And the answer is yes. ski -Doo designed this little cutout specifically for chargers. They also have a cable mount right here to keep everything nice and tidy along that side. The USB charger is sold separately, so that is something that you'll have to pick up on your own. And if you don't, there isn't too much to worry about because this is a heater mat that will keep your phone warm so it won't deplete the battery in the cold. The one thing that I've found a little difficult is this latch. It is a push latch. It is not like a normal actual latch latch. Uh, so that took a little bit uh, to get used to, but it is what it is. Another downside is that you have to keep your phone open the entire time to use it for GPS. If it closes, you have to open your glove box, open your phone mount, and then open your phone using Face ID or whatever uh, Samsung uses these days. But uh, those are the only two downsides to this glove box. I love how much storage I get. And honestly, I can't imagine not having it now. I even debated on putting it on a mountain sled or a summit. And uh, the only downside there is if you get stuck and roll over, the top of this isn't too sturdy. So it is a little bit more sturdy when the door is shut, but I don't know that I would trust that to be uh, taking the weight of the whole machine. I just wanted to show you what I normally have up in my glove box. So I have my drone equipment, two GoPros. I'm using my third for filming this currently, but I have an extra pair of gloves and you can see how much more space I still have to have an extra set of gloves, uh, maybe a thin layer of gloves, uh, an extra beanie, maybe a head sock and a neck gaiter. Uh, I'll pull all this out and put it on the tunnel and you guys can see. All right, this is everything that came out of the glove box. I have my drone, my drone controller, my GoPro 9, an extra set of gloves, my GoPro Max, my GoPro Max charger, my GoPro 9 charger, extra thumb screws, and charging cables. I know this was a short video, but I figured I'd show you what the glove box is all about and answer a bunch of your guys' questions from the last video. If you have any more questions, leave them down in the comments and I'll be sure to answer them as quickly as I can. Until next time, explore beyond the horizon.